Okay, so I got the holes, the spark plug holes, got the seat cut, got them reamed out, got them tapped, cleaned them, cleaned them pretty extensively, cleaned them with a little bit of uh, brake cleaner on a rag on the end of an extension to wipe out the uh, spark plug well and get the threads cleaned, blew them out, you know, use a lot of air, probably about 100 uh, PSI on a short piece of hose to blow any chips out, he bore scoped it, so it looks pretty clean down there. That step next is to put in the insert. Now the there are two different inserts you can get for the the Triton engines. The factory cut on the the spark plugs. The and this is sort of the the, the basis of the problem is there's only four or five threads in the factory heads that hold the spark plug, and there's a uncut portion of the hole and then a threaded portion of the spark plug well that the spark plugs screw into and when you get the inserts this is the Triton insert from Timesert it comes in a package if you buy the 5553 kit you get a package of five of these and it looks like it is the M14 by 1.25 by 16.8 it's part number 51459 the 5553 kit comes with a set of five of them of course I'm doing all ten of my spark plug holes but you get five of these style and these style have the uncut upper half unthreaded and then a threaded bottom half you can probably see that threaded on the bottom but not threaded up near the top and that fits the OEM plugs and fits the style of the OEM well of course it's fully threaded on the outside so that when it goes into the tapped hole in the head and you you lock tight it and, and expand it it locks into the the head but it only gives you a few threads in there. That's choice one and that matches the factory. Now if I'm going through the effort of uh, inserting this, you can get a different insert that's fully threaded. You can get part number, let's see, so these are M14 by 1.25, 16.8 and these are part numbers 51457 from TimeCert and these inserts, of course they're fully threaded on the outside to lock into the newly tapped hole in the head but they're fully threaded on the inside. Now the advantage to me is of course that it's, it's fully threaded so you know, I'm going through this exercise. Now there are still inserts so having the you know five or six threads on the half threaded insert would probably be fine but I mean, if you're doing it you know why not do it right. So I chose these and I had to buy additional inserts anyhow because the kit only comes with five and so I just bought ten of the full threaded inserts and that's what I'm going to install. So the steps we have to go through cover here in just a second. I wanted to grab a spark plug and talk about this a little bit more. So these OEM inserts that have the half thread in them, they match the OEM Motocraft spark plugs. The OEM, the Motocraft spark plugs have a thread about halfway up and then they have a shoulder on them. So in order to screw in you have to have this cutaway space like the heads have and like this insert has so that you can put the Motocraft spark plugs in there. So I went online and looked up spark plugs for this Triton engine, and there's probably 20 different spark plugs. And of those 20, only one had the shoulder on it that required this cutaway, and that was the Motocraft. All of the other spark plugs that I could find are fully threaded like this, meaning that they don't need the shoulder space, and they'll go into these fully threaded inserts. So I'm not going to I'm not going to tie myself to, you know, one spark plug that Motocraft spark plug with the shoulder on it and use the cutaway inserts. So the next step is to seat an insert into the threaded and clean hole. So this is the seating tool that TimeCert includes. And if you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's split with a, a split collet on it. And what you do is you screw the insert up on here, tighten down this uh, hex head, it spreads this and it locks the insert onto this tool. Then you take that this little insert tool, put it in the end of the wrench. It'll just fit right in there. It's got a you know there's an O-ring on this tool that holds it into the end of the wrench. You slide that down into the the spark plug well, seat the insert. Then what you do is you take this long Allen wrench the time shirt provides. You slide it up in through the end of this tool. There's a hole in the end of this. Let me slide this Allen wrench in through the end. Yeah, should be able to. And it'll slide all the way up. And if this tool were 
this uh, seating tool in here, you could loosen this Allen wrench, loosen this collet, and then back this out. Now something to know is that this tool is cut for the half threaded inserts, the OEM inserts with the um, uncut threads near the top, or the, the, the lack of threads, the shoulder space. To use this tool with the fully threaded inserts, you have to add this little spacer ring. The problem is, is that if you try to screw these fully threaded inserts onto here, they'll screw up here. If you notice on this tool, and if you can see it, there's a shoulder on it. It's threaded part way. Then there's a shoulder that fits up into that empty space in the OEM style insert. If you're going to use these fully threaded inserts, that's not going to work because you'll run it up in here and this shoulder will impact the threads. So you have to buy this additional little spacer if you're going to do the full threaded inserts. And that is, well, it's called ring. It is a M14 by 125 ring for setting tool. It's part number 51484A from also from time cert. So you take this little ring, you screw it on the end of this tool. It, it's threaded. It threads on there. Let's see if I can get it to do this one handed. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Okay. If I had both hands, I wouldn't hold the camera. There we go. Okay, so you thread this on there all the way. And what that does is it exposes just a portion of the threads. And you thread the fully threaded insert on up to there. Then spread the collet to lock the insert on. Set it down, uh, seat it down into the spark plug hole. Run the Allen wrench down through the wrench to loosen this. And then back this out, leaving the insert in place. Now something else time shirt says is when you're putting these inserts in, you need to add a little bit of Loctite. And when we put these inserts into the freshly tapped and cleaned uh, spark plug holes, time shirt says you need to put a little bit of uh, Loctite on them. And the Loctite's not to hold the insert in place. The, lock si the Loctite is to seal the outside threads from compression gases. The way these time shirt inserts work is you screw them in there and they're slightly smaller on this end. They have two locking mechanisms. One is they're slightly smaller down on this end and after you get them seated you take this tool, you run it down through here, it's threaded on the inside and it's, if you, I don't know if you can see this but it's kind of a odd shape, little hex, it's got little lobes on it. When you screw it down through the insert it'll start to thread in easy for about the first half then the bottom half is smaller and what will happen is as the tool pushes down through the insert it'll eventually get to the bottom and just spread this bottom locking the insert in place and time shirt has a I don't know if you can see this there's a little dimple right here and I watched a YouTube video and some guy said that well that little dimple is to put uh, Loctite in well no that's not what it's for if you look in there real close there's a small vertical bar in there I assume it's a, a steel bar since it's a steel insert and what happens is so it's a little vertical bar right there in that little divot it's kind of glued in place when you run the tool down in here and it spreads the bottom end it takes that little vertical bar and pushes it out and presses it into the threads in the head that you've cut and also locking in place. So you expand the base and you push this little pin. It's a little vertical pin right there. It pushes, you know, it's a cylinder, so it doesn't push out like a pin, like, you know, poking towards you. It's up and down. It pushes that pin out, bites into the threads, also locking the insert in place. So we take this insert, we'll thread it on the end of this little seating tool so it's on there nice and snug we'll tighten up this uh, collet which will spread and, and lock it on there we'll put a little bit of uh, Loctite on the outside not a lot just enough to seal it and it wouldn't have to be Loctite but it does need to be a high temperature so the Loctite they provide if you buy the 5553 kit you'll get a bottle of Loctite 266 a high temperature Loctite and you could use a high temperature Permatex or something like that but just something that'll withstand the temperatures and seal these outside threads so we'll put a little bit of Loctite on that put it in this uh, wrench should just you know once we will we'll tighten it up the call it here in a minute but you just slide down in there and then you'll thread this whole thing with a little bit of Loctite down into the spark plug well and seat it and time shirt says in their documentation seat it at about uh, 20 foot pounds so I have a torque wrench over there and I'll put them down in there seat it that'll get it snug right down in the, the bottom of the well then you'll put the Allen wrench through the end of this wrench loosen the collet 
back this seating tool out, then run this expanding tool down in there, put it in the wrench, when you'll put it in the end of the wrench like all the other tools, run it down in the hole, it'll spread this uh, the bottom of this insert out and be locked in there forever and then done. So let's go do that. Okay, so here's the insert on the end of the setting tool with a little bit of Loctite on it. What I'll do is in a minute I'll spread it with my finger to, to smooth it out and make sure all the threads get a little bit and then take this over set it down into the spark plug hole and seat the insert. It's got a little uh, lip right here that seats onto the cut seat from the, the seat cutting tool. Get that snug down in there and then get it expanded to lock it in place.